selecting data within your pandas data frame. Now there's one main way to be selecting your data and this is with lock or iLock. Now lock is going to be when you select data via your index labels. That's what they actually look like. And then iLock is going to be your index positions, meaning where do they fall within your data frame? So let's look at both and see how we can select some data within our data frame. First thing that I'll do is import pandas as PD. And then second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a data frame. Now this data frame is going to be a list of restaurants and bars in San Francisco with their name as the index, the type of establishment that it is, the average bill and the rating. All right. So say I want to select a piece of data here and I want to select a specific data point. Well, in that case, I'm going to pass a single row and a single uh, column. And with this first example, I'm going to be using lock. So this is when I need to select the index label. So for example, I'm going to select where row equal or the index row label equals foreign cinema, foreign cinema. And then I'm going to select where the column is type, which should return to me restaurant. Great, because that's the intersection right there. Now say I wanted to return an entire uh, column. Well, in that case, I'm gonna select two values. One, instead of specifying a single row, I'm just gonna put a colon, which means give me all the rows. And then type, I'll just get the type column. So then you can, as you can see here, I get the index along with the type. And then if you wanted just a single row, well then you just need to call it a single label. And then you get the type average bill and rating for the row where the index label equals liho liho. Now let's look at the iLock section. So with iLock, you're only doing in index positions. You're not going to be doing labels. So in this case, I'm saying I want the row where index position is two and the column where index position is one. Now remember that our very first item in our lists with Python is the zero list or the number zero in the list. So item number two and one would be here's zero, here's two, I'm mean, sorry, here's zero, here's one, and here's two. So it would be 500 club. And then I'm looking for the uh, column in index position one. So this is index position zero and then index position one. So 500 club and index position one should give me 80.5. Run this and you get your 80.5 right there. So you can do the same sort of examples by selecting entire uh, columns. So here I'm getting the column within position number one and that is gonna be the, uh, not the name, that is gonna be the average bill column. And then finally, you can select an entire row, which is here I'm selecting index position two row, which is gonna be 500 club, okay? Now, the other way that you can do this is you can actually grab multiple items via lists. And so in this case, I'm using dot lock, and I'm saying, hey, go get me foreign cinema, go get me 500 club, and then the columns that I want is average bill and rating for both of those rows. And those are the items that are returned to me exactly. Same thing happens with iLock, is instead of passing the labels, you just need to pass the index position. So zero, two, zero, one, go ahead and run this and we get the same exact result as above. Now, the final way that we're able to select is via what we call slices. Now, slices is Python's way to say, hey, return to me everything in between two items. So the way that it works is it starts at the first item and returns it and it goes up to but it doesn't include the second item. So in here I'm saying, go get me everything in between foreign cinema and 500 club, and then all the columns between type and between rating. So I'll run this, and you can see here that we get foreign cinema, liho, liho, and 500 club. And then finally, uh, we get type, average bill, and rating because that is you know type through rating right here. And I should have explained that actually with labels, it's gonna include the thing that you wanted it to, uh, that you wanted to go up to, so with rating. However, the tricky part, that's when it comes on to uh, when you do indexing or index positions. So here I'm saying everything with a zero sliced up to two and then one sliced up to two. So in this case, I'm going to get zero and one. And then in this case, I'm only going to get one because it won't include column number two or in the position there. And so you can see here I get foreign cinnamon, liho, liho, and then average bill. So that is going to be how you're selecting data within your pandas data frame. And these same exact functions apply for series as well. And so if you ever need to select data, use lock and iLock.